Um, today we're gonna be something doing. Ah, da, da, da. Hey yo, what's up, dorks? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing something a little bit differently, something that I don't normally do. Uh, I know I say that a lot, but uh, I'm trying to get my footing into this YouTube space, and I don't know what to do. But I think this time it's gonna be more fun than usual. Um, sorry if it's if it's not like it to your liking. It's gonna be more like a unboxing. I'm gonna be doing a Pokemon unboxing. Uh, I'm gonna do the new series. I haven't named it yet, or I haven't given it any ideas. Well, I've, I've thrown a few ideas here and there, so I'm gonna be doing probably like card unboxings or card putting together or things like that at that nature this is more of a like a mellow kind of pace series um, I'm just gonna be putting cards away I'm just gonna be talking over and just pretty much like talking over what I'm doing and and just opening cards just something fun something that I kinda wanna do don't know if you guys are down for the ride but it's gonna be pretty fun I think in my opinion um, um, there's not gonna be much jokes to be honest this is gonna be a little bit more like serious like I'm gonna be doing serious not serious like, oh, you know, uh, politics, but uh, it's going to be like serious, like, I just want to put cards away and I'm not really going to make too many jokes here and there. There's going to be like a like a witty remark or a sarcastic remark or just a few jokes here and there, maybe a story. But other than that, it's just literally going to be me opening boxes and putting the cards into a slot and the slot into the cards. and Pretty much that's going to be it, just chilling, like straight up chilling. Uh, this one's gonna be the first one. Uh, I don't know if you guys ever heard of these, but these are uh, pretty much elite trainer boxes. I have two right now in my possession. Let me grab them. So I have the Vivid Voltage. This one's Sword and Shield, the Pikachu one. And then this one is a Shining Fates Elite Trainer box. Uh, this is, well, I just call it the EV box. Uh, I bought these two. Uh, yeah, actually, let me tell you a story to why I even want to start doing this. So. I don't know if you guys ever heard of this big place in uh, California called Frankensons. It's like a big like geek store. It's got me geeking, and just walking through, you know, I was looking around. Um, I was trying to look for Owl House stuff, and ironically enough, they didn't have any Owl House stuff, so I left mad. But before I left, I saw a few boxes of like these bad boys on sale. Um, I was looking around earlier for these boxes. They were like. I want to say I saw a few like 50 bucks, 45 bucks. These were a little bit more pricey, but uh, I didn't do, it doesn't really matter too much. But I saw them both on sale. This one was 40. I think this one was 40 as well, or 45. So they came out to about 85 bucks. They're not so bad, honestly. I think they're pretty cool. Uh, I just wanted to open them so I could just like show it on camera, see what there is. Um, I'll get into more why I wanted to like open them up and get started again. But uh, you know, I was just kind of bored. I just kind of want to do a new hobby with you guys. Uh, besides skating and more skating and, and working 100 hours a week. Um, so yeah, anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoy this ride. Uh, stick by, you know, if not, whatever. Uh, this might be more just voice over stuff. So I'm just going to be probably talking to you guys as I unbox. So, I mean, kudos to you if you want to hear this as a podcast. But my voice isn't pretty for that. And right now I sound like I sucked 100. So, sorry, my voice is raspy. But anyways, let's get back into the video and let's unbox these bad boys. Yeah, let's do it. Well, I'm not going to be doing two today. I will see how one goes. And if I like how one goes, I might keep on going. I have more ideas in, in, in store. I have a few Pokemon ones I want to do. Uh, I have some that I have opened in the past, but I haven't been able to put away. I used to do card collecting back in the day. Uh, it's still in a bag or it's still in boxes, but... I used to have My Little Pony cards, I used to have like Pokemon, I used to have Magic the Gathering way back in the day, but I never got into it. I have a ton of baseball cards, I have a ton of football cards. So if you guys are down to see more, just let me know what you guys want to see. If there's a certain card collection you want me to open up, if you guys want me to stop, let me know. I don't really don't care. I'm, I'm not going to stop. When do I listen to you guys? I'm just kidding. Anyways, uh, continue on and enjoy the show, guys. Uh, thanks for sticking by. Oh yeah, before we get started guys, I just want to let you guys know that unfortunately, if you come here looking for a kind of genuine, kind of like expert level knowledge on the cards or their value or the stock exchange market for these things, unfortunately that you're going to have a bad time because I really don't know anything about cards. I'm still very novice. Like I, I used to collect back in the past. Unfortunately, nowadays um, I don't have time anymore, but 
I, you know, I, this is more just kind of like an entry level kind of beginner's opening box kind of thing. I don't really, I mean, like, if you guys want me to learn, I'll start learning them a little bit better. But this is more just like a novice experience, novice kind of thing. Like, more like a, how you say, kind of like just go and open them, you know, kind of thing. Uh, I'm literally just going to describe what I open up and then I'm going to like chill, I'm going to vibe, I'm going to chill with you guys. But I'm sorry if you come, if you came here thinking that this might be like a price unboxing or see how much the box is worth itself. Uh, you're going to be, you're going to have a bad time. But uh, if you guys are still here willing to join me, let's, uh, let's just open this bad boy up. So we're going to be doing today the Elite Trainer Box, the Shining Fates. I don't want to open up the other one right now because more or less I just kind of, I just kind of want to do one at a time and see how it goes. So I'm going to put that aside for now. But let's get started. So while I was at Frankenstein's, I bought this one right here. I, like I said earlier, I got it for 40 bucks. My brother got it. Well, my brother was telling me he found one earlier for like 45 to 50. So they're pretty, they're pretty rare. They're pretty expensive to go buy. Well, not rare per se, but they're just pretty pricey. Uh, trying to do some research on it. I think it's because a few cards are in there, or probably foil, something like that. A few booster packs in there. I think it's a good amount of cards for the price. So I just copped it. I copped it the other one as well, but. We'll get to that the other day. While I was over there at Frankenstein's, I also was able to get this cool binder. Really love this binder. It looks freaking dope. It looks amazing. Um, this is going to hold, I believe, it has about 20 pages. And each side has 18. So I believe it holds up to 360. I didn't do the math. I don't really care. This will be mostly used for, for my actual Pokemon cards. Like any good ones I find. I think mostly just like actual real cards I find I'll put right there. Everything else, you know, I'll put like, um, I'll put all the, uh, what's the word, the fire and all those extra little like use cards, we'll use put aside. Maybe trainers in here, but I mostly want to use it just for Pokemon. And then later on, I might move them onto another deck or something, who knows, or I might buy a whole like deck card for it, whatever, you, whatever it's called, you know. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's start opening this bad boy up. So uh, once I open up the wrapper, I'll let you guys know what it has, so you guys can figure out what what there is, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, you know, check it out. So there it is. She's opened up right there. Pretty beautiful, pretty nice looking. All right, so before I open it up, I do want to let you guys know that they do have 10 Pokemon trading cards, booster packs, uh, one foil promo card featuring EV VMAX, so that's pretty good. 65 card sleeves featuring Giga, uh, Giga Giant Max EV, 45 Pokemon energy cards, so yeah, the 45 energy cards, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to move to the side or put them in another collection later on. Doesn't really matter too much. A player's guide to Shining Fates expansion, so I'll probably just learn. Probably going to put that to the side as well. Six damage counter uh, dice, Pokemon TCG rulebook, one competition legal coin flip die, so that's pretty cool. Two acrylic condition markers, a collector's, a collector's box to hold everything with four dividers to keep it organized. Oh, that's cool, but I mean, I'm already going to put it in this thing, so it doesn't really matter. And two collector's box, and then a code card for the Pokemon trading card game online. Uh, I remember I got back into the, the online trading card game, like, a long time ago. I never got back into it, but who knows, maybe that will be the start of something brand new, something cool. So anyways, now that we have that out the way, let's pull it out, let's check it out. Nice. So right here off, off the bat, we have a player's guard. And if you can see, you know, it's pretty good. It's pretty detailed. Uh, let's you know what you got. Ditto. I'm seeing all the shiny vaults. I think it has like every single Pokemon that's in here. Pretty cool, pretty cool so far. Yeah, this one not bad. I think it is every Pokemon card that's in, at least in this box, or you could get in this box. Watch Pokemon TV on the go. Let's go. Wish I had that back in the day when I was growing up. All right, cool. So that's done right there. Put these aside to be honest. Cool, over there. All right, so now, now we have the box right here. So looking pretty cool. Let's open it up. Whoa, look at that. So it just looks like that coming down. So right here down the middle, we have the trading card game rule set. So right here we have the energy types going over those. So we got a few zones, Pokemon TCG, that's cool. Play trainer cards, that's nice, retreat. It's pretty much just kind of like a rule, <laughs> the rule like training card game rules pretty much, that's it. So put those to the side. Up next, we go down here, I do believe we have a few coins. Yeah, look at that. 
pretty nice. Probably just like the, the chance coins and things like that. Uh, right here. Oh, we got some dice and we got some rolls. Let's go. Uh, that's not really that important, but it looks kind of cool. I'll put these over here for now. So now I'm going to take these off because it comes in like this little boxy kind of thing. And we're going to put them right here. <laughs> Yikes. Alright, well let's see what we got. I think it said 10, so let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Look at that. Looking beautiful already. Look at that. So that's not so bad right now, to be honest. So 10 booster packs. It's not bad. Let's check out what we have here real quick. So like I said earlier, oh nice, pretty cute. So we have the Eevee little protector sleeves. It goes right here. I think I'll just keep them for now. Or I might put the, the actual cards in there. Uh, ooh, don't want to show the code, but this is the, the Pokemon game. So let's go over here. Yoink. You guys probably already saw it. I don't, I don't really care, to be honest. All right, cool. So these, I believe, is just like the little... Huh, that's weird. I don't really know what these are. They're probably little dividers, to be honest. I'm not really great with the card games. I'm not big. I used to play back when I was little, so... If anyone knows what those are, just let me know. I think it's... I, I'm assuming it's probably little dividers for when you put it, like, in an actual box or something like that. But uh, let me know in the comments, to be honest. I really don't know. That's my guess. Alright, so... Oh, I don't even know why I opened these. I'm pretty sure these are the energy cards. Set all 45, I believe. Let's open it up, check it out. Yeah, ooh, nice. So yeah, they're all the energy cards. Not so bad, to be honest. Should have left them in the packaging, but at least you can see them, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna put them on the side for now. And put it back in this little thing right here. Put them in here for now. All right, put them to the side. Alright, well check this out though. We have the Eevee card right here. Looks pretty dope, dude. Eevee, Eevee VMAX. Let's go. 300 GMAX uh, Cuddle. Heck yeah, Cuddle's pretty cool. It's not bad, not bad. Looks pretty nice. I'm not open it just yet. This one I'm going to put to the side. Or I might put it in the front of the collection to open up later, but we'll see. But so far, that's pretty good right there. Alright, so let me put to the side the things we don't really need. Alright, now that we have that out the way, let's just uh, get this going, yeah? Let's get this going pretty good. Cool. Alright, well, I'm going to start opening them up now one by one. Show you guys what there are, what there is in the packs, and then after that we'll put them in here. Uh, I'll put this over here in the corner for now, so it's not really that important. But, uh, yeah, let's get this over with. Let's get this started, I mean. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's what I always say to everything, so, uh, yeah. Take a little grain of salt, I guess. All right, you know me. I always love taking the long... Okay. I was going to say I always love doing, like, the, the long way or the good way to, like, take them out. But, uh, unfortunately, hold on. That's the Pokemon card game one. I'm going to put those to the side. But, uh, yeah, so let's see. So we have a uh, Chudi, Chudo, <laughs> Spinarak. Let's see. We have Kufant. We have uh, Gossifleur, Snom. Yo, what the hell is this, bro? Eternatus. That looks pretty important. I'm putting them to the side. I'll put all the regular ones right here. Like I'll put them like to divide them up. I'll put the cooler ones up here. Like definitely like more Peko. That looks pretty important. Uh, another energy. I'll put the energies over there, just to the side. All right, cool. Uh, trainer cards. Actually, I probably should put them somewhere else, to be honest. Put the important ones up here. I'll put even more important ones up there. Just a regular Pokemon right there. There you go. That's pretty good. And then we'll put the trainers over here. Don't know why they're sliding down. I guess it's a new table. <laughs> and then trainer cards right there. All right, we have Eldegoss, and then we have Detrix. That's pretty nice. So, cool. First one right there. First batch. And I just want to keep sliding down. I see how it is. All right, so that's the first batch done. Ten more to go. Or nine more to go. All right, let's open up another one. We have Shining Fates right here. Just a regular one. Not so bad. 
Uh, when I open them up, I'm gonna probably just like hide the freaking the actual training cards or the the Pokemon Online ones. Cause I think I might actually use them. To be honest, I don't really care about like like oh pretending to hide shuffle or whatever the cards, doing like the first one last or whatever. You know what I mean? All right, so Cacnea, we have Kufant, we have Eevee, pretty cute. I think I'll put them over there. I like Eevee. Uh, Buzil, you know, Yanma, that's nice. We have Professor's Research, trainer card. It's not so bad, it's gonna go right there. Dredna, this one's a more normal one. Another energy card. Other Grass, put them right there. Dactrix, or Dartrix. And then we have another gym trainer, so trainer card right there. I think the trainer cards I might just have to the side. It won't really matter too much. Either that or I might put them, I might put them with the, another binder with the energy. We'll see how it goes. All right, we'll have another one of these. I think so far we have a nice little, and I can't even pronounce it, Eternatus, so that's not bad. Don't know if that's a shiny, don't know which one that is, but uh, you know, pretty cool so far. All right, I really have to fix the camera angle. I think I really messed it up. I wish I could shoot it like from directly above, which I can't. So I can't have to do it like this. Maybe I can just sit down and do it, who knows. Uh, I really, oh yeah, I probably could actually, yeah. Why don't I just do it like that, though? I'm stupid. Ooh. All right, cool. Well, we have uh, one right here. So we have Kecnia, so not bad. We have Horsey. All right, Snom. That's pretty cute. I like Snom. More Peko. Kecnia, another one. <laughs> More Peko again. It's a little, I think, uh, shiny, so that's pretty cool. We have Zarud. Another energy card. We have Datrix again. Another trainer, so Rusted Shield. So go up there. And then we have Team Yell Towel. Uh, trainer over here. <laughs> I'm just getting used to this, guys. I do apologize. Like I said, I haven't played in years. So please do not get mad at me when I mess up a name or two or forget about trainer cards. Like I said, this is literally like entry level or going back to the basics pretty much. I, like I said, I used to play back in high school. I used to play back in elementary and all that. Back in the day. Nowadays, I don't. Uh, you know, life has taken over. So I don't play Pokemon anymore. But I do remember most of the names, like the most OG names. And, you know, I'm just getting the hang of how I'm going to start doing this style. So I do apologize if it looks like I'm being dumb or if it looks like I'm not taking this serious. Far from it. I'm just trying to get my style. So I do apologize. Oh, nice. All right, cool. So we have the pack right there. And I'm just destroying the wrappers. Let me get rid of the, the Pokemon the online card. Put them over there where I'm putting them. So to start them off, we have another Pokemon card. It's Kufant. Pretty cute, pretty cute. I think I'm... Yeah, I can't reach over there. I do apologize, guys. Another Eevee. I, I like keeping the Eevees over there because they're pretty cute. Buzio, another one right there. Yanma. I keep catching these fools in Pokemon Go. Uh, Trap Pinch, yeah. Oh, nice. We have a Tux Rixie uh, V Max. Look at that. Don't know how much these are worth, but we'll check them out at the very end once uh once I look into it. Uh, Luxray. Don't know which one those do or which one that one is. We have Energy, so another one right there. Ball Guy. God, that's that's fucking cursed. That is beyond cursed. Uh, Float Cell and Draft Tricks. Another one. Uh, I might go through all of them again just to see like which ones are shinies and which one I think is more important for the value of it. Maybe I will find out what the value of these, some of these cards are. Who knows? Maybe we'll just go in and see how much I got and all that stuff. We'll see how it works. Another uh, online card, so I'll put it over here. I think maybe that's how I should open it, to be honest. kind of want to do my own thing, though, honestly, so whatever. All right, so another Buzo, of course. Yanma, nice. Coughing! I like coughing. Uh, whatever this one, Grusflier again. Rusted Sword. Why can't it be non rusted? Come on, bro. Our energy, got him. Tropius, nice, not bad. Float Soul. Team Yell Towel again, let's go. Another one. Sheesh. Alright, so far we got like two of those shiny cards, so that's pretty cool. Don't know what they're worth. They look pretty pricey, but I, I, I'm pretty sure they're probably only worth like $2 in real life, to be honest with you. All right, this pack I actually did open pretty well. Not, not bad. Oh, okay, never mind. Spoke too soon, whatever. I don't even know if I'm going to keep the packs, to be honest. So it doesn't really matter. So grab the online card because I might use it. 
All right, Shinx. Nice. Horsia, not bad. Yamna, again. More Peko. That looks pretty cute. I like that one. I've never seen that one before. Another coughing right there. Gym Trainer, we have one right there. We're going to put in Trainer. Uh, we have Volcation. We have another Energy, so that's not so bad. We have uh, Tropius. Rotom. Looks pretty good, kind of. I don't know. And then the Rusted Shield. So we have Rusted Sword and a Rusted Shield. So uh, well, now we're down to four, guys. We have four cards left, four packs left. Uh, let's see if we get anything good. I don't really know if there is anything good. Uh, so far, I like a few of these Pokemon. You know, Eevee's my favorite. She's one of my favorites, at the very least. So, yeah. Team uh, Eevee, you know what I mean? That are online cards. Put them over there. Alright, so we have Trap Pinch again. Snorm again. Grookey. Spin Narc. Shinx. Ooh, Kyogi. This might be important. Probably. Alright, Luxray again. Or, well, I think that was like another one. I don't know. Another energy card. Rotom. Eldegrass. And Tropius. Look at that. Ooh. Not so bad, not so bad. Probably should get used to like actually opening up the cards. I'm not, I'm not too sure how you would actually open them. Don't know how most people do it normally, I guess. I'm not a normal person, so I wouldn't know. But, yeah. Take a sip of my beer real quick, fellas. Alright, let's get back to it. Let me get my uh, online card out the way. Alright, cool. So, we have more Peko. Cagnia. Horsey. Kufat. Chuti. Chudo. <laughs> I'm stupid. Zarud. Volsanil. Another energy. Brotum. Float Cell. And Tropius. Again. Another one right there. Alright, looks like we got two more packs going, guys. Let's get the two packs going. Smoking that L pack. Maybe I did lie. Maybe this is going to be kind of funny. Well, it's not funny. It's still very serious. There's not many goofs here, but I don't know. I am liking this. I am enjoying this. I'm having fun with myself, so that's kind of what matters in life, I guess, right? I mean, unless you guys don't care, then I don't really care. Horsey, Yanma, Morpeko, Coughing, uh, Ghost Flur, Ooh, Corv Knight. That looks pretty important. Manaphy, Energy Card. Oh, Ball Guy, fucking cursed, bro. Rusted Sword, Trainer Card. Ooh, almost, almost left in my, uh, my, my online card. And Eldegrass. So not bad, not bad. Uh, probably found a few more rare cards. Like I said, I really don't know the value of many of these cards, or I don't even know like what many of these cards are. Uh, consider me a normie, I guess, in the opening deck kind of world. You know what I mean? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm going, but all I know is I must kill. So there's the other online card. So this is going to be the last card. So another Yamna. We have more Peko. Snoom. Kufant. Groki. Salib. Boss's Orders. Uh, we have another energy right there. Ball Guy fucking cursed. Team Yell Towel. And Thwacky. All right, cool. So uh, let's get the more important ones and let's find out their value right now. So I do have a Toxtricity VMAX. And I have an Eater Nuss, so V, so, so right now I'm going to go online, check them out the prices. But that was the unboxing so far. I think that was pretty cool. Uh, 45 bucks though, or 40 bucks for what I paid. Um, I don't know, honestly. It's a good amount of cards. It's pretty cool that I have these many cards. I think all the energies I'm probably just going to keep in boxes as well. Maybe that's what the dividers are for, you know, maybe so you can divide them like, uh, when you're playing card games and you can divide like all the energies and shit you have especially i know that there's multiple energy part like cards so that would make sense uh, let's go with the uh, toxicity v max first i want to see how much that one's worth and then if it's worth anything and if it's not then i mean it doesn't really matter like i said i'm just doing this because i want to collect these cards it's pretty fun like i miss opening up cards and i miss putting them in, in binders and i have a million of them still waiting to be opened up so if you guys like these videos let me know that way I can actually keep doing it. Or if you guys hate it, I'll just do it to myself, you know? Toxicity VMAX.
don't know if that's a shiny. I don't know what you would call that. A shiny or that's a rainbow? Uh, I guess it's a shiny. Price charting? No, I should have gotten there like the minute I found out. Uh, cool. This uh, ungraded is four ninety nine. It's not bad. Five dollar card. Make back five dollars. So, not mad, boys. We're doing it. We're doing good. So, Eternus. Don't know if that is it worth anything. So we'll find out real quick. V. Don't know. Don't know which one it is. Could be. It's basic, I think. V rule. I don't know if that's a V Max. Okay, so it might be this one right here. We'll check right now. Okay, this one's like about six dollars. So these are kind of important, but in terms of price, I don't think they're anything to be honest. Uh, I do want to grab, I guess, these two to my attention real quick. More Peko and then Kygor. Maybe those are worth more, or maybe they're worth some, you know. So let me look up uh, Kygor, Kygorgi, whatever the fuck his name is. I can't remember. Uh, I hate there's no prices on it, but uh, that's all right. I'll just look it up online like this. He's probably not worth much, to be honest, looking at it, but uh, we'll see right now. Yeah, I'm looking probably like $1 <laughs> on it. But I'm seeing uh, something that are like 14 <laughs> I really don't know. Let me look up uh, Shining Fates, I guess. Uh, still not getting really a price. I'm like, I'm seeing like 7000 but I think it's false. There's one that's like graded. There's two graded that are like 114 210 but I, I believe just the regular ones are pretty like, yeah, this is 21 21 that's, uh, yeah, like about $2. So I think that is worth something, to be honest. Really can't go wrong with that, you know what I mean? And then let's check out, uh, so which one's this one? This is, uh, 37, more Pico. Yeah, this is like about, like, $1, so $2. So, yeah, it's not so bad. I think, uh, value doesn't really matter too much, to be honest. It is what it is. It's what you want to do with them. There's, like, a few, like, Luxray and Coughing, like, those are probably worth, like, maybe a dollar each as well. Like, Zarud. Uh, don't really know what Zarud would be with, like. But let's look up, uh... Let's go back and look up uh, probably one more, like Luxray. See how much he is worth. I think about $1.38. So Luxray, you know, it's pretty good. I think they're worth a lot. Well, they're not worth a lot, but in terms of, like, their price, I guess it's pretty good. So it doesn't really matter. Oh, actually, hold on. I do want to know. I mean, if it gives you the Eevee one, would it really matter what it is, to be honest? Uh, Eevee VMAX, I don't even think it's worth much, to be honest. Unless that one itself is, like, worth maybe $30, but I highly doubt it. But I guess you never know, right? Yeah, that one's really only like two dollars and fifty nine cents, at least ungraded. Uh, there are quite a few, I guess, online where like, you could buy it. But yeah, I'm just saying like about four dollars ish and all that stuff, so it doesn't really matter. Um, even the PSA graded ones are like twenty five dollars or fifty dollars, so it's really not worth much to be honest. If, if I think that's like the, I don't know that would be like the greatest one, but let me check TC player. Yeah, this one's selling for like $5. It's still in the bag. It's not really worth it. I think I'm going to just keep it because I do like cards and I just think they look cool. So it doesn't even matter to begin with. So now that we have that out the way, I think uh, I'm going to start collecting them. And then let's get them into the to its own little binder. And let's get them into the binder. That'll be so cool. All right. Now we have the prices and all that set out. Um, I think now we can start putting them in the binder. So let me just start like organizing everything again. We'll put all the like the, put all the online cards away in the side. These are all the, the training, the energy cards, and I'll put a few of them over here as well. That way they're all set right there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Cool. You know me, I have OCD. I want to kill myself. So these I could probably throw away, I guess. Don't really have much value after like being opened up, so I'll put them to the side and throw them away. All right, so now let's get the more important ones. I think I'll put them like over here. And then Eevee and Kyogre, you know, we'll put those there. Trainer cards, I think I'll do them put them to the side as well they're not really that important as well i mean they are if you want to win a fight or win a game but but in terms of like relevance to this at least to this deck it doesn't really matter all right cool start putting some cool ones as well right there nice 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 cool 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 and then all the normal ones i guess we'll just put like to the side and we'll put them like right there dress right dress neat neat 
I think uh, I think I fucked it up. Oh, no, there you go. Cool, celeb, nice. And all these other ones over here. Uh, I really can't organize them by like, I can't organize them by price, because I really don't have price per se, I guess, on it. So <laughs> it doesn't really matter. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna sit down again, so don't mind me. I'm gonna take a sip of my beer, but while I'm doing it, I could take a sip in it while opening it up and getting it ready. So uh, bottoms up, fellas. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, you're probably asking yourself, Walter, why did you get this stupid little binder? And for one, uh, fuck you. Uh, this is pretty fucking cool. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. And two, I think it just looks cute. I think it's just pretty cool. Why, like, you can't be mad at this. This is adorable. Look, it's literal, like, Pokemon, like, card binder. Like, little, like, probably 10-year-old me would have fucking loved this. And literally 23-year-old me is loving this, so I don't even know, like, why y'all mad. But, uh, yeah, I got it on the, I got it over there at, the. Got it over there at Frankincense. It's pretty cool. I like it. I fell in love the minute I saw it. I saw it was 30 bucks. I cried. But I think I'm glad I got it because it's pretty cool. Now, I'm debating whether or not if I should have this, like... I think I should just leave it like this. I have it folded. Keep it in the little plastic just in case. You never know if it, it will actually be worth anything in the future. But for now, I'll just put them in there. There you go. That way it's safe. Uh, maybe one day I'll get a PSA graded, but I highly doubt it because it's not really worth anything, so it doesn't really matter. But, uh, yeah, there's the first card. This thing's kind of bugging because it's, like, begging a little this way. But, uh, yeah, let's continue going. So, up next, we have the intern on us. Now the truck, 60 VMAX. Oh, this is going to be kind of annoying, actually. I didn't realize this, but, uh, it's, inter it's inserted sideways. Well, the first one's to the left, and then the next one's left, and then the last one's right. So I will have to get used to it. So more Peco V, you go right there. Cargri, you go right there to the right. Oop. Nice, nice, nice. We got a little Eevee. I love Eevee. My favorite. Another Eevee. Well, Eevee's not my favorite Pokemon, but it's like a close second. I really like Eevee. They're adorable. All right, now we're starting off with the other regular ones. We have Luxray. He's going right in. Pretty good. We have a uh, Corv Knight. Pretty cool. Put them right in there. There you go. Perfect. We have a few coughings going in. So now I'm going to turn the page, put them in there. Perfect. Oh, yeah, I got to move it out more that way. Oh, okay, so now I'm getting the hang of this, so it's kind of like this. Let me put another coughing in there to match. There you go. Hopefully this is pretty good material. Hopefully it stays well. I don't know much about this one. Actually, let me, let me read it again real quick. It's Premium Pro Binder. Uh, it said it's a uh, premium guess 20 pages 18 packs like pages so acid free no PVC sand aside all right cool and voice the middle black web so not bad contour to Spanish <laughs> uh, side loading pocket design so that's cool so yeah it's not so bad honestly I think it's pretty good I don't know if the Pokemon company made this or if this is like kind of like made by them yeah it's Nintendo King Freaks so that's not bad, you know. I, I just I just love, fell in love with the design. That's pretty much it. And I'm gonna be using this probably moving forward with my, like my other Pokemon cards. So when I start with like the the Vivid Voltage, I think I'm gonna split it up and start going from there. Uh, and then if I run out of space like from there, I'll probably just keep going forward and just freaking I'll just use another binder. But the trainer cards, all that stuff, that's going in the binders. But like these, these are, like the more important Pokemon cards. There you go. Some Rotom. Not so bad. There you go. I think I'm I think I'm like organizing these wrong to be honest. See, like there's another coffin there I fucked up, but whatever. I'm just gonna put them in, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna read them off. I think uh once the O C D kicks I'll probably start doing them like based on my like how many there are. If I just wanna like sell them or move it aside. Yeah, that's gonna be bugging me for a while. I don't like how they're top loaded, but whatever, I guess. In the end it doesn't matter. I just work here. Life is meaningless. We're all going to die. All right, Snum. Pretty cool, pretty cool. He goes in right there. More Peko. Just a regular one. He's pretty cute. He looks like Pikachu in a way. Don't know if that's uh, as Nintendo just like doing what they want, I guess. Other grass. Put that fool right there. 
It's your boy. One on fee. You go right there, fool. Sorry if I'm butchering all these. Um, I haven't played Pokemon since... Well, no, I've played recently, but... I don't know, like, any of the new ones. I know mostly, like, the older ones, like, the old generation. But I really don't know, like, more of these newer ones. Because I'm saying this, like, Gossifleur, I... I Gossy Fleur, I don't know that's how you say it. I don't know, Peko. I don't, remember, I don't remember seeing him in the show or him in the games. There you go. Go in there, more Peko. Uh, I don't know if I already said it, but my favorite Pokemon's Relts. Uh, Gardevoir is up there, too. Uh, I know you sickos be drawing a lot of weird stuff with Gardevoir. Let me find out. All right, we have Floatso going in. There you go. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Rotom, pretty cool. He goes in there. Not so bad, not so bad. And we have uh, Tropius. He's going to go in there as well. All right, I don't know why that's upside down. I'm trying to pronounce this right. I think it's Volcanion. Volcanion. Ooh. Go. Chudo. You're going to go over here, bro. There you go. All right, cool. We have Colfont. Not so bad. Horsey. Pretty cute, pretty cute. Not going to lie. Cacnea, there you go. More Peko. You're going to go back in there. Uh, Tropius, perfect. I think, uh, I think if anything, I'll make videos later on, like actually organizing them per like how many Pokemons there are. Or like group them up in the actual Pokemons. Or who knows, maybe with my OCD head ass, I'm going to actually like take them apart, look up the prices, and um, like have them like labeled from like most expensive to least. You know what I mean? Knowing me, but that's probably going to be later on if I do have time. Alright, Grookey. And I do have a lot more time now, thank God. Snoom. You're going to go right there. Trap Pinch. Perfect. Slide right there. Excuse me. Tropius. Volcanion. You're going to go right in there. Boop. There you go. So far, so good. I did have a few Animal Crossing packs that I actually haven't opened yet, to be honest. I'm going to be real with you. I have three right here that I have on the side. Uh, I had more. Like, I used to open up more, like, back in the day. But there's three that I might open up later on, like, in the... Later on, probably, so we'll see how it goes. All right, more Peko. Let me know if you guys are interested. I have, I have a few already in the binder. Probably going to open up those, like, I have maybe... How many packs do I have? Maybe 16. I think I have 16 in total. So I might open those up recently, but I put them online, so we'll see. All right, Horsey, you go in there. All right, Snix, you go right there. All right, Float Cell, boom, there you go, right there. Ah, get in there, damn it, look pretty well. All right, let's go. All right, Troopius, there you go. Yamna, Yan Mega, I'm trying to get these right. Cross Fleur, who knows, maybe I'll start getting into the actual games again, you know, I'll start playing again. Cacnea. Let's go. I don't know if you guys can see it well. Hopefully it comes out in the well, in the video pretty well. Uh, I'm I'm really like scared if it doesn't. My room's like really bright, so like I know there's light everywhere, like sucking it in or making it look bad. So hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully it looks pretty good. <laughs> of course you go right in the same spot. It was meant to be. All right, so Yamna, let's go. Yeah, see, I have a lot of, like, extras that, like, I've been using. A lot of, like, extra Pokemon that I've been getting. I don't know how the professional, like, people do it. I don't know if they group them and put them together in the same group. Ooh, another looks for you. This one's pretty, like, shiny. I mean, if you really... I mean, I saw a video earlier well, before I was going to make this one. I saw, like, is it worth buying this pack? I think, um... Uh, Money-wise, I don't think it's worth it, because, uh... I mean, you probably will make your money back if you pay, like, a dollar for each card. But in that case, like, you have to find someone who wants to buy these cards, and you have to, like, freaking... Then you have to, like, find someone who wants to pay, like, that amount of money for the cards. And then probably someone's going to haggle you or be like, nah, you know what, I don't want it for that much. You know, that kind of beat... I don't know if that's worth just, like, fucking around and messing with someone and doing that, you know what I mean? Ooh, more pickles kind of shiny, I don't know. Probably should, like, put that one in the front, whatever. I just kind of want to get this over with. I just want to put them, like, in their sleeves and make it look nice, you know? I want to have them forever just chilling. Snom. Snom's pretty adorable. Don't fuck with Snom. Horsey. 
Let's go. We have uh, Cagnia. <laughs> I keep forgetting left to right. It's It would just be a million times better, I guess, if it was like up and down. I don't know if they used to do it back in the day, like with the actual real packs like this. Uh, I, I, all I know is like from my day and age of like when I used to collect baseball cards, they used to be like from the top to bottom. I mean, I know they still do it because I bought a few packs like a while back that do confirm that it's like that. But these is like, it's kind of like annoying just kind of doing it like this because like, I keep forgetting it's this side and I keep forgetting it's that side. Reality, I just, I just want to get this over with. I just want to get it from the top to the bottom, baby. All right, so Buzo, Kufant, Cacnea. <laughs> it sucks too because like, I feel like I'm going to bend it if I do it like this. And I keep pulling them out and in and out like when I'm playing games. It's going to worsen the cards. Imagine a fool playing a, a, a freaking... Man, I can only imagine a little kid playing a, a first edition Charizard like in an actual collection. And then like fucking it up and then now it's worth like $2 probably. I mean, it's probably worth more, to be honest. Like, I know, like, a beat-up copy could still probably run you, like, $100 or two. Or up to, like, a few thousand, to be honest. Who knows? Pretty rare, but pretty lit. All right. Last year. Q font. Ooh. Man, yours is a lot of you. I think I might just group you guys up and put y'all together. You're not really worth that much, to be honest. All right. Chudo. Chudo. And then last but not least, we have Draxic. Well, it is very least, I guess, but whatever. It's not that powerful, not that cool. Not that memorable, but, you know, I'm not going to roast it for being alive, you know what I mean? All right. Uh, I might put the... Will they fit in here? I'm curious. I don't think they'll fit in there. Well, yeah, they will, but just one. I'll just put one in there so I can split it. Yeah, there you go. So I can just split it and have it right there. I think that's how I'm going to do with the start and ending of, uh, of every, like, new one, I guess. Actually, I can put the three right there, so I'll just put them in. I'll just put them in here to fill it up. To be honest, I'm not gonna use them just yet. If anything, I don't want to use them just to use them for like pretty edgy, basic like training cards. So it doesn't matter. So how many pages was that? Let's find out. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. So five, uh, eighteen. Yeah, seems about right. I'm not gonna do the math. I'm pretty stupid. But that's pretty cool, you know. I think that's a, that's a collection right there from start to finish. Uh, the more expensive, I guess, to the least expensive. Uh, it looks pretty nice, honestly. I think it came out all right. Uh, wish there was more, to be honest, but whatever. It is what it is. If it's worth the $45, I'm going to tell you straight up, probably not. Uh, there might be a few in here that maybe I forgot. But I, I think for the most part, the ones that I thought were worth pretty much a lot... They're pretty much worth like pretty little, so it doesn't really matter. And I'm not really doing this for the value. I'm just doing this just for the collection sake. You know, I just, I love seeing like cards in the little collection. It's just, it's so fun. I remember back in the day when I used to do it, I was like little and stupid. And I would just like take them out and play with them and then like throw them around and shit. And then, then I would just lose them straight up. So it's pretty fun and pretty like nostalgic to just open them up and have fun again. You know what I mean? And I hope it inspired you guys to, you know, do your own collection again. You know what I mean? Because it's just, it's just pretty fun to just take time out of your day and just collect them and put them in a nice dress right dress in a little bag, in a little box, and just make it look cool. You know what I mean? So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I think that looks pretty cool. It's going to go in the binder for now. My little Pokemon binder. I think this is super cool, super cute. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see the next unboxing of the Vivid Voltage, the, Pika the Pikachu one. Uh, that one's kind of cool. I kind of want to do that one as well. I just want to have them all organized and set up and looking nice and then have them in my little collection so they're just chilling. But anyways, thanks guys for sticking by. Uh, without further ado, let's uh, exit out the video, yeah? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but anyways, let me know what you guys want to see next. I have a bunch of Amiibo cards. I have more Pokemon cards. I have a few of my little pony cards that I'm probably going to put away. I already opened them, so I'm just going to put them away. But uh, anyways, if you guys like what you saw, uh, don't forget to subscribe. If you guys didn't like what you saw, uh, dislike and let me know why. Uh, I'll work on it. This is pretty rough. This is like my first time doing it. So I, I know I'm bad. I know it's pretty bad. I'm getting the, I'm working out the kinks for this new series. So it's going to be long. It's going to be bad. But if you guys did like it, let me know. If you guys want me to work on something, I'll work on it. But I think this is a pretty fun first episode. I'm not going to lie. 
But with that being said, guys, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. Uh, take care, you dorks. <laughs>